Team Fortress 2's stock shotgun is a very different kind of shotgun than you'd find in most any other first-person shooter. While the mechanic of pump shoot, pump shoot may stay the same, Team Fortress 2's shotgun still varies overall in its use and in damage. But how so, you ask? Well, for one, in most other first-person shooter games, the shotgun is easily one of the most powerful weapons in that particular game. If you're unlucky enough to be close to someone holding one, then you're assuredly soon to die in one fast, powerful blast. However, compare that to the shotgun of Team Fortress 2, and you immediately realize that this is just not the case for this game. On top of that, another way Team Fortress 2's stock shotgun varies from any other game's shotguns is that the stock shotgun of TF2 is typically used as more of a last resort kind of weapon. Basically something you would only switch out to in case of an emergency. Most of the time, that emergency will be running out of ammo. But another real case for using the shotgun is in the case of going up against a vac medic, in which case you'd only be switching out your primary to counter whatever the enemy medic is using against you. For instance, when playing as the pyro, if the enemy's team medic were to use anti-flame as their uber charge, you would simply switch out to stock shotgun. And the same idea can be said of soldier. Unfortunately, this does not apply for the demo, but that's likely because the demo can do this. The same cannot be said, however, for TF2's Heavy. Since the Heavy is already using bullet damage against a Vacinator Medic, switching to a shotgun wouldn't really do them any better here. And yes, you could make the argument that the Heavy could still choose to melee here, however, you typically won't find much luck with that. But this is actually probably one of the smallest problems when it comes to heavy shotguns. One of the real biggest problems of TF2's shotgun comes back to the fact that TF2's shotguns simply aren't powerful enough. I mean, why in the world would you switch from this... ...to this? From doing 500 damage per second, barely ever having to reload... ...versus doing maybe 180 damage per second while having to reload every 6 shots or less. For most heavies, this is enough reason in and of itself to barely ever use the shotgun. In fact, really the only time nowadays you'll ever see heavies primarily using a shotgun is solely just for the meme of Fat Scout. But yet there's one more major reason most heavies don't hardly ever equip the shotgun, and in my opinion, it's probably the most important reason there is, which is simply that, if you equip the shotgun in your secondary weapon slot, you can't equip the sandwich, or any other food item for that matter, and this last detail absolutely destroys the chances that a shotgun will ever be equipped by any serious, well-trained heavy. The ability to heal yourself is just too good. Why risk the chance of dying in battle when you could just replenish your health in a few seconds? Not to mention the sandwich has the second ability of being thrown to your teammates, providing them a huge chunk of health alongside yourself. Now, I know by now you might be thinking, Wow, TF2 team, you really dropped the ball here. But to be fair, the sandwich wasn't even a part of the Heavy's inventory up until almost a year after the game's release, which would have made the shotgun actually a pretty decent secondary up until then. Okay, so just imagine, you open up your Heavy inventory, but all you have is your minigun, your shotgun, and your fist. Yes, the minigun would deal your greatest amount of damage here, but it would always slow you down to rev it and then shoot it. And the fist, on the other hand, wouldn't deal a great deal of damage and would require you to be very close to your enemy to even be considered useful. This is why shotgun would have seemed like such a great alternative at the time. You didn't have to slow down while shooting, you didn't have to rev, and you didn't have to be super up close to land a hit on your enemy. It was a great weapon to hurry out in a rough situation with, or perhaps turn a corner faster than your enemy expected you to. Because of how useless this made the third slot of Heavy's arsenal look, this could have honestly been an early clue that the stock shotgun was just a placeholder until the TF2 team could think of something better to add. But that was then, and this is now. And now, with Heavy's upgraded weapons and the addition of the lunchbox items, you can hardly even think of a great reason to use the Heavy shotgun anymore. But with all that being said, I don't think this is a problem found in Team Fortress 2 with no solution. And that is why I've come to propose this. TF2 team, how about in a future update, you give the Heavy a shotgun that works like a shotgun would in any other first-person shooter game. That's right, I think it's time that we have a one-hit, enemy dead, enemy down kind of shotgun. In fact, make a shotgun that's so powerful that it could even take out a full health soldier in one massive close range blow. Now before anyone goes and says, whoa Joey, that's way too powerful, here would be the details of this new shotgun. The new shotgun would deal an insane amount of damage up close, up to 200 damage at its highest. It would shoot at a rate of just a bit slower than a regular shotgun, but would also come with another difference. This shotgun must have a massive damage fall off. I mean to the point where anything beyond even a few steps of the heavy would make the gun's damage fall off to something even less than a regular shotgun stats. 
Now, although this just sounds like a massive buff mostly for the heavy shotgun, this would, well, actually yes! Yes, that's exactly what this is. In fact, I honestly believe that that's exactly what the heavy would need at this point to make any of his shotguns viable. See, the thing is, with the abilities of the sandwich among Heavy's other lunchbox items, the shotgun has really been made to just look more like a handicap than anything else in the Heavy's arsenal. And not only that, but with the inclusion of TF2's Uber update, the shotgun was made out to look even more useless with the Heavy's newer, faster minigun, the Tomislav, making shotgun's promise of greater mobility seem even less effective than it was before. And this is why I think that the new shotgun for Heavy would have to be made so powerful because it would have to bring something so effective to the table that a Heavy would actually consider dropping their sandwich for it and switching off their primary. It would be something a Heavy could effectively use only in certain circumstances, which, in my opinion, would make sense only in the sort of way that the banana makes sense to Heavy now. See, as mentioned previously, the banana is an effective secondary for Heavy and really does contend with the sandwich, but typically only when it's the lone Heavy. And in the same way, I think the new, more powerful shotgun would make sense for a lone Heavy. If the Heavy was on his own, either without a medic on the team, or a medic who's constantly sticking to other players, this shotgun would give the Heavy a new, lethal alternative while on his own, without seeming like such a useless alternative to his primaries, or being selfish towards his medics. It would also change the game of close quarters combat for Heavies, considering now the Heavy wouldn't have to rev into a room or jump and rev, but could simply turn the corner and begin bodying his enemies that fall in too close. Which wouldn't drastically change the game either, or make Heavy too overpowered, considering it's already really well known that you typically don't want to be anywhere near close range of an enemy Heavy when they're playing to fire. But, anyways, that would be my answer to the current shotgun problem for Heavy. Maybe it's a step in the right direction, maybe it's totally off. But I think if we're ever going to fix the shotgun's problems, something really different would have to be done to how the shotgun currently works for Heavy. Until then, I think the shotgun dilemma for Heavy will always continue. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you think would work for the Heavy shotguns? Do you agree or disagree with my idea? Let me know below, and I'll add the little heart icons to some of the comments that I like the best. And as always, until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.